Yeah, so today I walk in the pawn shop near me and find the original iPad just chilling. And the guy at the place was like, hey, if you want it, I'll sell it to you for 20 bucks. There's no charger, there's nothing, so let's see if it turns on, let's see what it does. And I uh, figured I'd make a video out of it, because why not? This thing's freaking awesome. While we're waiting on that iPad to boot up, I want to get you in the early 2010 mindset. So first and foremost, the iPad came out on January 27th, and it wasn't available for consumers to purchase until April 3rd, 2010. This is the current iPhone, the iPhone 3GS. The biggest feature on the iPhone 3GS is video recording. The completely revamped, redesigned iPhone 4 won't be available until June of that year. The iPod was still relevant when that iPad came out. And at the time, this is the current iPod Nano. It's the one with the little video camera on the back. I love this thing. This is the current iPod at the time. There's no cameras on it, and there's not a retina display, because that won't come out until June on the iPhone 4. And we're finally booting up. Sweet. Let's go ahead and start setting this thing up. I'm super excited to get into it. If you guys didn't know, if you're trying to sign in uh, to an older device and you get one of these verification codes like this, uh, you type in your password and then at the end of your password, no spaces, you type in that verification code and that'll let you on in. So if you ever get an older device for some reason and you're trying to get in it, that is how you do it. And just like that, this iPad is set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and hit the start using iPad button so that we can check out iOS 5. This is gonna be awesome. So we'll go ahead, we'll hit that button. And there it is, classic old iOS. It is so good to see these icons again. I've always been a fan of old school iOS. So one of the biggest things that the iPad was meant to be able to do was be a web browser. It was meant to jump and fit the gap between the iPhone at the time and the Mac at the time. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to load any of the current HTML, CSS trends, but we'll see what it does. I'm kind of curious. It's not far off, actually. It's doing its best to load up the iPhone 13 here. Uh, not bad, Apple. Not bad for supporting this. Let's take a look at some of the old iOS apps on here. Number one being Notes. Of course, the iPad Notes app is going to work perfectly fine today, but it was a great device just for jotting down some notes and ideas. It also features reminders, so you can put reminders and different tasks on the iPad. The YouTube app was pre-built in, and unfortunately, without jailbreaking the iPad, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, contacts, again, not going to have any contacts in here, but you could just open up a quick contacts book and fill out your contact information and have all your contacts ready to go, which is super cool. As a matter of fact, this is the first version that supported iMessage. So you could quickly load up some contacts, load up some people, and send a quick message off to someone that is also using an iOS device. It's got Game Center, so you could load it up and play games with your friends. We've got multitasking for the first time ever on an iPad, and we've even got the notification center at the top. The iPad is the first iOS device that even supported changing your wallpaper. Up until the iPad came out, you couldn't change wallpaper on any iOS device ever released. This is the very, very first iPad that could actually change its wallpaper. I'm gonna jump in the App Store and see if there's any apps whatsoever that I can actually get installed on here. I've already been prompted to download iBooks, so why not? In 2022, we are actually able to install an application and use it on this original iPad. I'm just kind of curious. I've heard Netflix is compatible with the original iPad even all this time later, so I'm gonna try. I guess it's not. All right, let's see if we can install Temple Run, which is an app that came out around the time of this iPad. Installing, download an older version. That's promising, looking really promising here. All right, let's play Temple Run. Let's see how we do at Temple Run. I'm surprised. I really wasn't expecting that. I wonder if you can do the infinite glitch. 
Oh, maybe, maybe. Gonna try Fruit Ninja. Oh, incompatible. Will it let me install an older version of Pages? No, it won't. How about Pandora Internet Radio? That was like all the rage at the time. No, nothing works. The craziest part to me is that the iPad 2 came out just under a year after the original iPad first debuted. And it's so much better that it even makes the first generation iPad look as if it was a beta product. I mean, just look how much thinner that is. The original iPad also only came in one option, black. Whereas the second generation came in black, or white. This iPad is also a far cry from my current iPad. I've always been a big fan of the iPad mini and wow is it crazy. This thing weighs half a pound, this weighs a pound and a half. They're like night and day difference when you look at them side by side. It's truly crazy and also kind of remarkable what they've been able to achieve over the years with the iPad line. Let me know if you want a video where I jailbreak this and try to make it more useful. If you've got some ideas of things that will work or some ideas of things you'd like to see me try, like let me know and we'll talk about it. Thanks for watching.